Can you talk a little bit about the financialization of real estate and its impact on the economy? Yeah, I, I mean, and, and, and this isn't uniquely endemic to the Vancouver region, but we've seen a lot of regions where real estate uh, is treated like another financial instrument or asset, much like a stock or bond, right? So it's held, it's traded, it's just another asset, right? Not as we would uh, see it as, as a place to live, a place to- Home. Home, exactly. To, to put your family, to, uh, to grow your family, and to live over many years. But because real estate, especially residential real estate, has accreted so much in value, that it, it, it's treated like another security. Uh, and that puts a lot of pressure on the market, right? Uh, because it's either taken out of commission or you get large firms that buy up a lot of residential real estate and Reeds, hold that. You right, mean? exactly. Mm -hmm. uh, and you've seen that uh, particularly in a lot of cities in the US. And uh, even though it's it's still relatively a small percentage, right? The Blackstones and the Black Rocks that that have bought up, uh, they bought up a lot of of uh, residential real estate after the global financial crisis. But because after the global financial crisis, that a lot of builders were became very risk averse, and we didn't build enough. This is just the U.S. I'm talking about to to support population growth that when you take large swaths of residential real estate uh, at a commission and you hold it like a financial security or asset, that puts a lot of pressure on the market. Uh, and that's what we've seen in certain places. So, Well, we've also seen, you know, large scale uh, housing production here done with the intent of offshore sales, where developers set up showrooms from Shanghai to Dubai. And uh, because of that upward pressure, it's really creating a greater divide between global wealth and the local economy, yeah. pricing the locals out of the market. Yeah. Is that something that you've seen happening in other global cities? Sure, sure. Uh, again, a, a lot of wealth is parked in real estate, right? Uh, and, and that's the, the financialization of, of real estate uh, that folks treat it like a, just another asset and they hold those properties uh, like they would a stock, right? And mm -hmm. hold them long term and then maybe trade out of them. So uh, it, it, it's something we're seeing in a lot of places, right? And things like we've brought the empty homes tax in here, but that's just a cost of doing, that's yeah. just a cost of, of, of the investment as it were. Yeah, in fact, uh, 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 a real estate agent. When I first came up here, I was looking for a place, and uh, the real estate agent told me about the the foreign buyers tax, which uh, I believe is, is twenty percent of the purchase price. And I said, "Wow, that that's quite pricey." And he said, "Ah, it doesn't matter to most people. It is it it is just, in fact, the cost, and most people don't. You know, they look at it as as just uh, the price they pay."